Isabel, why Seiko Hashimoto? Right. Well, I, th I think we have to look at the context here. As, as you say, her predecessor, Yoshiro Mori, had to step out down after making publicly these quite sexist comments, and that, that did spark an uproar. Um, the first potential replacement who appeared um, in media reports was, a, was another man in his 80s, and that um, sparked another uproar. Um, so that idea was dropped, and um, it appeared obvious to everybody that this time it, it needs to be a woman. So. Now they've, they've found a woman who's in her 50s, um, and that shows more of a commitment to the diversity that um, the Olympics is uh, supposedly committed to. Um, so she's also a former Olympic athlete herself, so which is a, a great plus. She has won a medal for speed skating, and she's competed also in track cycling. So that's quite unusual to have been a, p a participant in two different sports. And as the current Olympics minister, obviously she's very much up to speed with the preparations for the event, which is actually only five months away, if indeed it does go ahead this year. And of course, a lot of issues besetting the Olympics with just a few months to go, right? Does this help things? Does this resolve some of those issues? Right. Well, um, I think the first point to make is that we, we don't know for sure whether we she'll, she'll accept the job. Um, presumably, she'd have to step down from her current position as minister, so it might not be the, current, the best career move for her in particular. And it would also force her boss, uh, the Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga, to find someone else to take over her cabinet portfolio, which includes gender equality as well as the Olympics. So he'd need to find another woman, basically, um, and there really aren't many in his party in the LDP in the lower house. Less than 10% of the members are female. Um, obviously, also, the Olympics, um, whoever becomes the new president, faces the huge issue of whether it's actually wise or how to hold a global sports event in the middle of a pandemic. And, of course, uh uh, of course, Isabel, all of this uh, came out of the comments made from the previous uh, Olympics chief on his views on women's in me women in meetings. Now we're hearing from the ruling party uh, LDP in Japan that they want to respond to some of the criticism that the party is dominated by older men. Uh, there's a caveat, though, in terms of female participation. Right, yes. So we've had uh, Secretary General um, Nikai has come out and said he wants to admit women to board meetings, but only as observers. So they won't actually have the power to say anything in board meetings. Um, in fact, the board members of the party are elected, so they would have to run for election if they wanted to fully take part. But it does seem ironic that um, he's, he's telling people, telling women to stay quiet in these meetings.